Hi everyone. Um, as many of you are aware, um, this coming Sunday is the, the marked in the Church of Ireland as the Day of Prayer for Young People and Youth Ministry. Um, some of you maybe have been at services um, or different events to, to mark that day in the past. And this week, just I want to share some um, short videos um, that hopefully you'll find helpful, that you'll be able to take the time uh, and just think a little bit more about prayer, what it is, why we do it, and how we can do it, which is really where the rubber hits the road. Um, it's all well and good talking about prayer, but you know, it's, it's something that most of us, when we first start thinking about it, haven't a clue where to start. I wonder, have you ever had the experience of being at um, a party or maybe at a friend's house or something um, and you're there with your friend or friends, um, but there's also some people there who are friends of a friend who you've never met before. Um, if you went up to them and they didn't open their mouth, you'd have quite a tough time getting to know them, even if you wanted to try and get to know them. You could try and guess some things maybe about them. If they were wearing a school uniform, you could guess what school they go to. If they were wearing um, a jersey um, or something that, that told you what team they supported or, or a hobby they were interested in, um, you could tell some things about them, but you'd never really get to know them unless they open their mouth. And that's where I want to begin when we think about prayer, because prayer is part of a relationship with God whereby we get to know him. But we're not left in the dark trying to work out what he's like. Lots of people down through history have had lots of ideas about God, um, some of which are close to the truth and some of them which are not. But we don't have to guess because God has opened his mouth and he has told us what he is like. He has revealed himself to us and that is what we have in the bible we have god's revelation god the word speaking to us telling us the truth about himself and about us and about the world and most of all about his son the lord jesus and how all of those things fit together around him we begin with the bible because we can know what god is like and that he is a good heavenly father for all who trust in him and that we can come to him in prayer that's where we begin with prayer. It's a relationship with the God who is known. And of course, a relationship is two way. Maybe you've had the experience of um, a friend or a family member who, who just talked, 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 talked and didn't get you a chance to even answer or, or to get a word in, as we say. That's not much of a relationship. There's not much communication there. With God, yes, we speak. To him in prayer, we can ask him for things, we can give thanks to him for things. But we also need to listen as part of our relationship with God. Now that doesn't mean we um, sit very quiet and we, we expect to hear um, his voice in our ears. But remember, as I've said, the Bible is his word. When we open it, whenever we open it, God is speaking to us. So that's encouragement for you as you begin this week thinking about prayer to um, pray to the God who's known, but also to listen to him in his word. And as we listen to him, that helps us to know him better so that we can pray um, in accordance with his will. Uh, and we'll talk in a few videos time about how we can use the Bible um, to actually to, to create our prayers, to, to fuel our prayers as well. This week, I'm going to finish each video um, with that quote um, that we know as the, the Nike slogan or Nike. Um, I know there's great controversy over which how you pronounce it. Just do it. Prayer, we can talk about it. We can think about it. But we can only truly learn how to pray and to grow in prayer when we try it. Practice makes perfect in this as in everything. Just do it.